Welcome to my channel. The slides that are rolling by are an indication of some of the things that I cover on a regular basis in my videos. Once you have watched the video, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button and leave a small comment. It's a really a big help to the channel. Uh, the YouTube logarithm, when it sees that, promotes the channel more and will be more viewers. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching. Well, it's high zucchini season. I've decided to take some of my recent zucchini harvest and make some zucchini muffins. I'm always reminded this time of year of a story that a friend told me. She had moved into a new area in southern Maine and was talking to a next-door neighbor, and she was trying to find out how safe the community was, the neighborhood, whatever, and she asked several different questions, and the lady that she was talking to sort of avoided the question and didn't really answer it. So finally she said, for example, do you lock your car at night? And she said, just as quick as a flash, the woman looked at her and said, only in zucchini season. <laughs> so <laughs> you're in danger of finding your car stuffed full of zucchinis, I guess. Well, this is quite a simple recipe, and they are delicious, so I'll take you through the steps here. I've decided to do it as a slideshow. I haven't done this before. Well, the first thing you need for zucchini muffins is zucchini, of course. Three cups of grated zucchini. Now, I'm using small zucchini just been on the vine for a few days. If you are using larger ones, you should check and make sure that the skin is still nice and tender. Sometimes as they get older, the skin can get quite tough. Um, also, um, the seeds. If you're using larger ones, I would scoop out the seeds. But with these small ones, the seeds haven't really developed yet, so they're they're sort of ideal for the purpose, I guess. So it's three cups packed uh, of grated zucchini. So the ingredients are two large eggs. Mine, of course, are fresh from the coop. One and a third cups of sugar, granulated sugar. I use metric weights, so it's 280 grams. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Of course, the three cups of packed grated zucchini. Three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter melted. You could use oil if you want, but you won't get the nice flavor of butter. Two and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour. I weighed it 400 grams. And one teaspoon each of baking powder, baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And the seasonings are two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Optional, you could add a cup of your favorite other fillings. Uh, suggested were walnuts or almonds or whatever, uh, or uh, dried cranberries. Even chocolate chips would be good, but I didn't add anything extra to mine. Also, there is a link below the recipe here, or below the video here on YouTube, so you haven't got to take notes for the list of ingredients, etc. Combine and mix all of the dry ingredients together. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius and beat your two large eggs until they're well beaten. Add the sugar. And the vanilla extract. And continue beating until everything is well combined. I'm just using a hand whisk. You could use a 
electric mixer if you wanted to get one dirty, but I didn't think it was necessary. Add the zucchini and the melted butter to the egg mixture and combine well. Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and mix them well. I added mine in two batches. Just keep combining until all of the dry ingredients appear to have mixed in nicely. Oil or butter your muffin tin. I sprayed mine with a cooking oil spray. And you fill the muffin cups to the overfill level, which I was a little concerned about, but it turns out very well in the end. And you bake them in your 350 degree, 175 degree Celsius oven for 20 to 30 minutes. With my oven, it was the full 30 minutes. I guess I've already said I baked mine for the full 30 minutes until a bamboo skewer that I inserted came out clean. Nothing clinging to it. And once they come out of the oven, you put them on a wire rack to cool for five minutes before you try taking them out of the muffin cups. I was a bit concerned that they would be hard to remove from the muffin tin, because as you could see in the previous picture, they sort of spread over the surface of the tin a bit. But they came out very easily, I suppose, with that much butter in them, plus the mold itself was sprayed with baking oil that they have a hard job sticking. And you wait an additional 20 minutes before they are cool enough to eat. And then with all that butter that was in the interior of them, I buttered them again. They are very good. Uh, all that seasoning to put together, the, the three spices, really gives them a nice flavor. And the zucchini adds a lot of fiber, and I suppose a bit of flavor there somewhere too, but I never see summer squash or zucchini as having any terrific great flavor themselves. They seem to take on the flavor of whatever you cook them with. Anyway, I, these were quite easy to make. I really like the things, and I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you very much for watching.